If you've been following my channel recently, you know that I'm a little obsessed with Notebook LM. So when this brand reached out to me recently and said that they built something that's similar to Notebook LM, only better, I was honestly very skeptical, but check this thing out. Just like with Notebook LM, you can upload links, you can upload files, you can add notes, you can then chat with your information and even create things like slides, images, and web pages. But there are a few things you can do with this new tool that you just cannot do with Notebook LM. The tool we're talking about today is called Umind. This is it right here. And I think the best way to describe this is it's almost like if Notebook LM and Notion merged together, but with multiple AI models built in and a complete creation studio. Now, Umind is sponsoring today's video. So if you wanna try this out for yourself, click the first link in the description down below. You can sign up for free and I also have an exclusive 20% off code for you if you do decide to upgrade. That code will be in the description as well. But let's jump in now and I'll show you how to actually set up a workflow with Umind and what I love about it and the problems that it fixes that Notebook LM has never been able to fix. Everything on Umind starts with creating a new board. Each board is like a self-contained workspace for a project. Like if I'm researching the future of AI trends, I'll have a board for that. If I'm researching a trip to Japan, I'll have a board for that. So I'll go ahead and click right here where it says new board. And let's say for this one, we wanna research meditation. Now, after creating the board, you wanna click up here where it says learn, and you'll be able to start throwing ideas in here just like you would with Notebook LM. So you can go ahead and add a note. So this is any copy text that you might have, or you can type in your own text. You can also add things like links or YouTube videos just by posting the links in here and even upload files. So the same things you can do inside of Notebook LM. But here is where we uncover one of the biggest differences between Notebook LM and Umind, because Umind comes with a Chrome extension that makes collecting research so much easier and faster than copying and pasting over links like you have to with Notebook LM. So watch this, let's say I'm doing some research on how to meditate and I just found this article. First thing you can do is click on the Umind Chrome extension and immediately you're gonna get a summary of the web page that you're on. So if you don't feel like reading the entire thing or you wanna read the summary first before you commit to actually reading the article, you can easily do that by opening up the Chrome extension. But let's say I've now gone through this article and I absolutely love it and I wanna save it to my board. I'll just make sure that the correct board is selected up here, which it is, and then go ahead and click on save. And then if I click on open, I can now see that inside my board. And going back to all the materials, I can see my full board right here with everything I've added so far. You can also do this with YouTube videos as well. So here's a YouTube video on how to meditate. Let's go ahead and open up the Chrome extension. Again, you are going to get an overview of this entire video, as well as a transcript of the audio from the video as well. And once again, if you wanna save this to your board, just go ahead and click on save, and that will then be added to your board. Now, importing YouTube videos is one of my favorite ways to use Umind because it has some really cool features in here that are specific for videos. So when you import a video, you'll notice that not only do you get the entire transcript right here, as well as the description from the video, and you can even ask it to create chapters for you as well. But you also see the video over here on the left. If you play it, it will follow along with the video. But my favorite feature is this one right here. It will automatically pick for you key moments in the video that it identifies as being really important and maybe relevant for the board that you've created. But if you want to, you can actually pick your own. So let's say you're watching this video and you get to a point where it says something that is really standing out for you, super important. So it says, focus on your breath. This part for me really stands out. Well, all I have to do is click on this button right here. And you'll notice that over here on the right, under this pick section, it actually pulled out the key quote from that timestamp. Close your eyes if you want, and then bring your full attention on the feeling of your breath. So now if I exit this board and come back, I can actually see these key moments. You see them right here. So I know exactly what area I wanna focus on when I return back to this video inside my board. And the board itself, Umind knows that that is an important moment in the video as well for me. 
So when you upload a video to Notebook LM, it just has the context of that entire video. It doesn't know what part of it is important to you. And maybe you don't care about the rest of it. You only care about that one part, but inside of UMind, you can do that with that pick feature. Once you have all the material in here that you want, you can begin to use this to actually create things just like you would with Notebook LM. There are two primary ways to do that. So first, if you just come over here on the right and click on chat, and then on this drop down, you can select what you wanted to create. So it can write pages for you, create images, create diagrams, audio overviews, build web pages, slides, or even create video clips. For purposes of this, let's have it go ahead and create an image for us. Then by clicking this menu icon, you can choose which image generation model you want to use. And this is a second big difference between Notebook LM and UMind. When you use Notebook LM, you are only getting access to whatever image generation model they have built in at the moment. But with UMind, you can actually pick. So if I want to use GPT image 1.5, I can do that. Similarly, if you have it go ahead and write something for you, you're not locked into them using Gemini 2.5 Pro or whatever model that Notebook LM uses for its writing. You actually get access to Claude, you get access to GPT and even Grok as well. So let's go ahead and change it back to create an image and we're gonna have it create an infographic for us. So I will actually select for this one Nano Banana Pro because I think that one is the best for creating infographics. For the aspect ratio, I'm going to do 16 by nine. The image quality, we'll just leave it at 1K and you can even select the style of the image as well. So for this one, I wanna go ahead and do like a Pixar style and then I'll tell it down here Create an infographic about how to get started with meditation, make it a step-by-step -step guide. And then I'll go ahead and submit that. So here's what it came up with. I'll click on it to make it larger. So here's our infographic explaining step-by-step -step how to get started with meditation. Now, if I'm happy with that and I wanna make sure that I save it, what you can do is click on these three dots and actually click on save. And now you'll see that it is now part of your board over here on the left. But like I showed before, this doesn't just create images, it also does a lot of other stuff. So let's have it go ahead and create a diagram for us. And I'll type in a prompt here, like create a diagram talking about how to meditate. Here we go. So it creates kind of like this flow chart for us, describing how to get started with meditation. And once again, because I like this, I'm actually gonna save this to my board. But my favorite feature here by far is build a web page. This thing is really cool. Let me show you how it works. I'll click on build a web page. And again, I'll just type in build a web page showing how to meditate. And then it will make something like this. This is our new web page. Go ahead and click here where it says start your journey. Here's the process. It tells you step by step exactly what to do. And I can check these off. Okay, I found a quiet space. I set a timer, I'm noticing my mind's, mind's wandering, et cetera, et cetera. And then actually has this breathing app, this, wow, I was not expecting it to make something this elaborate. This is super, super cool. It is actually teaching you how to breathe in and out with that rhythm. We have a meditation timer, the cycles of meditation. This is super, super impressive. Before I show you all the other features, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm always looking for the latest and coolest AI tools. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, definitely make sure you subscribe. I showed you before how if you wanna actually have it write something for you, you can come to this dropdown and select write page. But the better way of doing that is by clicking up here where it says create. Here, this gives you access to templates so you can have it right for you in the same style every single time without repeating your prompts. So I have one right here that every time I choose it, it will use all the information in the board to create a blog post or a YouTube script or a research guide. You can set up a new template by clicking right here where it says new template. You can give it a name, so maybe Twitter post. And then you can choose the language, obviously, and even the model that you want to use. So for this one, I might want to choose Claude Sonnet 4.5. And then you can describe the exact prompt. So for this one, I would say write a Twitter post based on all this information. Make sure to keep it under a certain number of characters so that it fits. Then once you have a template made, all you have to do is click on that template, like the blog post one. Go ahead and click on generate. And now over here on the left, you see it is now generating my blog post. So here's what it came up with, and this is collaborative. So if I don't like anything in here, I can either ask it to make changes to it, or I can just make those changes myself. You're not stuck 
with what it generates. It's a living document that you're actually able to control and change exactly the way that you want. And this entire process using these templates to actually generate things for you is a tremendous time saver. Once you create something that you're happy with, you can go ahead and click on this share button right here and actually get a link that you can give to anyone. And with this, they'll actually be able to access this document and see it. So it doesn't just live inside your board. You can actually share it with people. You can actually do that with any of the assets. So this website that we made right here, I can go ahead and click on the share button again, get a link for that, or even publish this board to the web as well. They also have a mobile app so you can capture ideas and work on boards from anywhere. So that's perfect for quick research while you're not at your desk. And one more thing, they are releasing data to slides soon. That's going to be really interesting. It'll generate presentation slides from your content with optional audio generation, kind of like Notebook LM's audio overviews, but with slides that you can actually edit. So that way you can maintain creative control instead of just getting a final output that's static. And then finally, if you're super short on time or maybe just a little bit lazy, instead of creating a new board from scratch, you can actually create a board using AI. So by clicking on this, you can tell it what topic you wanna to explore, like how to start baking pies. And here you can see it's creating the board for us, all the materials here on the right. And you can see it's done a ton of research all on its own without you having to go out and actually do it yourself. So that's UMind, very similar to Notebook LM, but with a Chrome extension that allows you to quickly add research from anywhere, multiple models you can choose between, and a workspace that allows you to not only create content, but also to work on it collaboratively with the AI to get the exact results that you're looking for. The big idea here is instead of researching in one tool, writing in another, generating images in a third, and organizing in a fourth, you can do everything in one workspace without losing context. If you wanna try it out for yourself, click the first link in the description down below to sign up for free, then use the code PAUL20 for 20% off if you decide to upgrade. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.